Did you know the EPA states that a gas-powered lawnmower running for one hour creates the same amount of pollution as 11 automobiles driving for one hour? That's a lot of pollution. Hi, I'm Lonnie. Hi, Lonnie. And I have an addiction. My addiction is building useful things out of other people's junk. Come with me and you'll see what I would mean. This was on the side of the street, free, and now it's my electric lawnmower wheelbarrow combination. Here, I'm going to show you how I built this. First off, this is our frame. The motor and everything will come together on this. Secondly, we have a transaxle. This is a transaxle that was originally built for a mobility scooter, but now it's going to make our lawnmower and our power wheelbarrow go. This is our wiring. This, make, this controls the direction of it. And then over here, this is my plastic cover. This will keep this, the snow and the rain and the sun off of all my electrical components to make them that last that much longer. Next, we have our wheels and spindles. And then over here, this is our handle. The handle is what we'll use to control lawnmower. Here is a throttle, just like a motorcycle throttle to make it go fast or slow. This is a 500 watt controller. This will, this will operate the transaxle. Then on our way over here, this is the lawnmower that I got from down the street. That was free. It did have a bad engine, so I didn't care about the engine, so I converted this lawnmower to 24 volt electric. It's got plenty of power with a one and a half horsepower engine on it. Motor, excuse me, one and a half horsepower motor. And when I'm not using it as an electric mower, this is my carrier. Carrier would be what most people would consider a wheelbarrow. It's got sides on it. Anyways, this will go in place of the lawnmower when I'm not using that. Next and last is our batteries. They're two, two group 24 deep cycle batteries set up in, in series to make 24 volts as opposed to 12 volts if they were in parallel. Up next, we'll do the frame. Did you know, according to the President's Council on Physical Fitness, that 80% of adults and adolescents in the United States do not get enough exercise. I have a statistic of my own. I believe that 90% of Americans did not build enough stuff. The, what I was originally building was something to push the electric lawnmower to make it self-propelled and to carry the batteries. And this is the frame that I originally came up with. I added this piece right here on afterwards to hold a caster, which I'll, I will show that at some point. But right now, let's just, let's just show the frame. When I build a frame, the first thing I'm going to do is choose what I'm building around. So right now I'm building around, this is a transaxle out of a mobility scooter. I knew it would be the right speed because it's made to go walking speed. At full speed, this is um, a run, uh, a, a, like a jog or a run. So this is the perfect speed and this will go all the way down to a creep. Okay, then I built my frame to match the uh, mountings on this and left enough room for the transaxle. So that was my first part of my frame. And then I needed my batteries to be behind so that it would lighten up the lawnmower that's on the front. Because a lot of times you need to pick a lawnmower up to get it over something. So that's why I put the batteries behind the transaxle. Next. As you saw, you probably by now saw the lawnmower that I made this from. It had these clips on the side of the lawnmower to hold the handle. So instead of building um, new handles for it, I just took the handle that was on there and welded these onto my frame, which just happened to be the right width. And that way I don't have to build anything new. Then, this, let's do some measurements. All right, the full length from front to rear is 20 inches. The full width from side to side is 17 and 3 fourths inches. That's, the, that's that. Now, I'm using group 24 batteries, so my, my length here is 10 and a quarter. The batteries are 10, I left a quarter inch to spare. The width is gonna be the width that I needed for the transaxle. 
which is 16 and a half. The batteries only need 14, so I have two, two and a half inches extra to play with. So I'm going to strap the batteries down so they'll stay in the middle of the tray. Now remember, if you want to go with bigger batteries, you'll have to measure your batteries and extend the, um, the tray out to match that. And also, this transaxle I got from uh, Surplus Center, um, but no telling if you're going to get the same transaxle again, so you might, not, you might want to check the transaxle before you build. Next, these are my mountings for my lawnmower. There's two, um, two on this end and two on the left side. Okay, and all I did was I put an angle, a piece of angle going up from, let's see, it's six and seven eighths, and at the top of it, I welded a, a bolt, a half inch bolt, and down here on the front of the frame, right down at the bottom of the frame, I welded another half inch bolt. So these are, this is kind of like if you had a three point hitch, this is your mountings. Same thing on this end, I just did the same measurement over here. And then my mower is gonna to attach to this. This, is, this took some trial and error to get this correct, but this is the best measurement that I found so far. Okay, let's go on to the handle because that was the thing that I did next. All right, while we're at it, let's check out, let's see how the battery fits in the tray. See, there is the battery sits in this tray with another battery next to it. So we have plenty of battery room. Okay, next thing is gonna be the handle. Let me take the battery out. I'll just set that down. Okay, then my handle is the original handle. I had to actually take and put handlebar, a handlebar stem on it. I just cut off a stem off of a bicycle, or this would be, I think, called the gooseneck, and, and I welded it to this after I welded a cross piece. This is gonna go on like this. Now remember, yours could be different, but this is gonna be pretty close to whatever, anything you're gonna get. Okay, next, then I put it over here. Okay, then over here, we have what we added for the handlebars. Had to do a set of handlebars because we have that twist throttle that has to go on something. The original mower handle would not have worked. So see, now we're gonna, now that we're done with this, this will slide in here and tighten up. And you'll be able to twist your throttle and then run the mower on the left side. That'll take the, I think that's gonna take care of the frame. Any questions, you can always add a question in, you can send a question in through YouTube if, if you have anything.